Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City or Animal Crossing City folk. Thank you for being here today. I think we've got a bit of a unique day today because it is the final day of November. Assuming I'm remembering my dates correctly and there's not 31 days or anything, it should be the last day to do a mushroom hunt. So we're going to go around and just chill, enjoy our mushroom hunt, and then we're gonna go and sell all of the mushrooms that we don't need. Good afternoon, Apollo. Ho oh, ho, Marty, don't tell me you just got up. Yeah, a little bit. Loafing about in bed on a gorgeous day like this is just a waste of good sunshine. Well, I've got a secret for you, Apollo. In real life here, it's snowing. <laughs> so it's weird when it's the weather is different in Animal Crossing. If Animal Crossing could ever make a way of matching the weather outside, in where you are in the world, that would be so cool. Yo, Marty, ever heard the rumors about that special can you get when you buy lots of seeds? Apparently, you can even restore withered um, red turnips to health. I raise red turnips for uh, pickling. Uh, but man, look away for five seconds and they start dying. Yeah, so true. Uh, if that can really exist, I'm sure to get my mitts on it. What happens now if we send Apollo a silver can in the post? In the mail. Do you think he'll acknowledge that? I, I don't have one to test, but he probably wouldn't. Right, let's go around and... Yeah, it's a bit sunny today. What's going on? It's a bit weird. Snowing uh, quite heavy here in real life. Okay, we'll head around and... Oh, I haven't got my shovel. We'll head around, grab the... Um... Oh, I had a dream that we met Gulliver last night. That's just come to me. <laughs> I was just thinking we should probably get the uh, slingshot out. Just because I had a dream. Um, we'll go around and get the fossils and the mushrooms anyway. Apollo, what are you doing? You are being nice to me. Makes a change. Oh, you've yeah, got so many fossils to do. So many fossils. Maybe we'll get around to those today. But we're just going to go slowly and see if we can track down the mushrooms. This is the last mushroom hunt of the year. And yeah, actually, a couple of people mentioned it. The grass has changed colour again, hasn't it? It's definitely preparing for the winter. I think. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for the fossils as well. We're going slowly. I'm trying my best not to run around. I know we always resort to running. Here's another fossil. Uh, tomorrow, I think we'll play as Mary, so Mary can get all the harvest stuff in her house. Right, we better check up at this corner as well. Uh, no, nothing in the corner. So, we also, I think we need like three, unless it's a smaller set than usual, we need like three mushroom items still. One of them, at the very least, is the mush wall or the forest it might be called the forest wall I don't know if we're going to find it it's a bit annoying that we've gone through the entire month we've only missed a couple days here and there and we might not complete the set but there we go it gives us something to work towards in the future and of course we can always trade things here's another mushroom most of these mushrooms we will be selling, in case you missed yesterday's episode, we uh, are basically, we've put aside some mushrooms that we're going to need for basically decorating and then the rest we're going to sell today and put towards our bank balance and also we're going to probably give Mary a basement because, well, we need more space to display the event items. Just checking the orchard here. We should probably harvest some fruit as well. It's looking very colourful actually. Now that the grass and trees have seems to have changed shade again, the, the, the fruit really pops. Oh, Rosie's not home. We should probably talk to Rosie more because we haven't really spoken to her too much since she moved in a few days ago. Right behind Maury's house. So we need one more fossil and a couple more mushrooms. 
but we're in the middle of the day so we're, we're, we're in no rush we're just uh, walking around enjoying the music I think and searching for those things so I really like the mushroom hunts I think it's gonna be something that I miss even though it's just it's, it, it maybe to some it might become a bit tedious um, if you don't really care for the furniture or you've already got all the furniture it definitely could be a bit of a tedious job but I like having something new to do in a different season uh, and when it's on a time limit as well it kind of it just makes it a bit exciting if that makes sense so it, I will miss the mushroom hunts because it's just something cool to do but at the same time it's good that it's ending because you don't if it was every day you just would ignore them wouldn't you so it's kind of cool that it only happens in November Oh, here's a mushroom. Near the stump. We're probably going to drop some mushrooms here anyway. Please be the wall. I thought it was just a mushroom, but it was a forest wall. Yes, we got lucky. Oh, that is such a relief. What luck. I wonder if it knew we needed that item or if it was just random. That's going to be so good for our house. Uh, whew. Bit of an overreaction there. We're having a good day. We had some luck in Zelda earlier. We have some luck now. Is this right? So we still need one more. There's one more um, of each now. Fossil and a mushroom. Oh, we better come back and water those in a little while. I might move those into storage until we start sorting out the hybrid situation. I think we're gonna. That's gonna be the main task for winter, probably. Here it is. Here's the last mushroom. Of 2023 sad times there we go no more mushrooms to pick but we will be using the mushrooms oh we've had a bit of a, a common day today but also a very lucky day getting the forest wall so it is called the forest wall but we will of course be using the mushrooms much more uh, going forward because we're going to be decorating our house with them we're going to be making or at least the mushroom furniture we're going to be making either a mushroom wild area a mushroom picnic area or a mushroom farm vote now please what you or at least what you'd like to see first a mushroom farm we might have to clear an area make like rows of mushrooms and stumps and like stuff like that or make it look more natural and have a wild area I was thinking of doing it just hello Rosie we'll come back to you in a second I was thinking about just doing it here like make a bit of a wild area or or use them mostly for the picnic area let me know what you would prefer to see I think they'd all be interesting to do. And I think we've saved enough mushrooms that we could do them. Oh, Marty! Walking time, walking time. Time to get all fit and stuff. Wait, what have you eaten today? I just ate like 50 pounds of banana bread. Where are you putting all this food? And where are you buying all this food, actually? Is there like a cafe I don't know about? Right, there's one more fossil somewhere which we haven't found. We better just check below the uh, town hall. Always go to call it the post office, but it's the town hall. There's a fossil somewhere hiding. We did find the, the fossil that was hiding before on the cliff edge. Oh, we have checked down here because I remember walking past the uh, thing. Okay, so it's going to be another one that's hiding. Right, I'm going to drop these fossils here. Actually, we better just check the money rock first. I knew it was going to be this one. If I dropped the fossils there, we wouldn't have been able to get all the money. Oh. Hey, Alma, have you been digging up the fossils that we're looking for? We've got so many to get through. I really wish there was a way to make kind of like a fence. Or to divide, like, you know how you can kind of divide an area off in more recent games? Right, so there's still a fossil somewhere, but it's no big deal. We can find that at a later date. So we can sell these. These are going to be sold anyway. Forest wall. Let's go and have a look at what the forest wall looks like. I'm so glad we got that. Um, we have a habit of missing out on matching furniture. I'm just checking if the fossils here. Um, missing wallpaper and carpet for furniture sets, I mean. 
So quite often when we play through a holiday event, we'll get all the furniture or most of it, but we'll always miss out on a wall or a floor. But we got super lucky. So let's check it out. Where is it? Hang on wall. Ooh, that is really nice, actually. I don't know what I was expecting, but it does, it kind of goes to the floor quite well, doesn't it? That's actually pretty... That's actually pretty cozy. Also, it looks a little bit spooky, maybe. Maybe it could be used for a spooky room. But anyway, these are all the mushrooms we're keeping. We're keeping 30 mushrooms. Um, seven of each of the common ones and uncommon ones. And then two of the rare ones, because they're the only two that we found. Um... Which is still good. Um, we had a perfect time for probably a couple of weeks. So maybe you get one a week. I think it's like, they're quite rare. There's like 10% chance of digging one up anyway. So to get two, I think is pretty good. And we'll save all these for decorating in the house. Leaving us in our storage for a backup. And also either, or maybe multiple like mushroom farm, picnic area or wild mushroom area. We'll figure that out later. Um, right, so let's drop some stuff. Stuff so we can start selling we need to do the axe okay we'll have we'll probably come across the thing later do you know what I'm going to I'm going to right I'm gonna do this really weirdly I'm gonna go and sell the things we've got in our pocket apart from the mushrooms I'm gonna empty my pockets in the bank and then we're gonna sell all of the mushrooms and that way it'll be easier to see how many how much we've made Rather than trying to add it up as we go, because I'll probably forget. Um, oh, did we check? Yeah, we did check behind nooks, didn't we? I'm also too scared to check the turnip prices, but kind of curious now. I've said that. Hey, Nook, welcome, please, please. Browse all you like. We don't have any turnips to sell, but I'm just curious. Currently, was <gasps> 109 bells. Probably go up tomorrow. Um, anyway, right. <laughs> Getting distracted. We want to sell these things there we go sell those we can put the rest of the stuff in our pockets i'm going to throw the axe in and then we can focus on selling our month worth of hoarding mushrooms apart from the ones we're keeping for decorating and for a backup um right let's do this come on serena i don't know if we're going to get any more luck but Remember, we mustn't lie and we mustn't be too greedy because we fall for every time. What's with you mortals? First you throw coins and now axes. Did you throw a gold axe in here? Or maybe a silver axe? It was just a regular axe. Honestly, mm, that's refreshing. Just because you told the truth, I'm going to give you a special... We've fallen for this before. No, you're not. Just kidding. I know it. No. I, a secret part of me there, 10% of me was like, oh, maybe it's real. How do I do? Did I seem really goddessy? I mean, that's how a uh, goddess is supposed to be, right? Spot on. I'm going to copy Sunny here. Sunny did it just underneath the spot on. Huh? That's a weird one. I know I'm a goddess and all, but even I didn't expect that answer. If it were up to me, and it is, I'd say I'm not so hot on that kind of ambiguous answer. Here's your axe back. No! Part of me still thought we were going to get a golden axe. I think that was the question. Um, Kara Lee had before she got the golden axe. Oh well, because we haven't seen that scale thing before. Anyway, let's go and deposit all our money. And then we've got a, uh, oops, go the wrong way. We've got a blank canvas for working out how much we will make from our mushrooms. I don't know if the common mushrooms are worth that much and like the white ones and that's what we've got the most of so I don't expect to get too much. But there we go. 1.3 million bells we've got. We're going to use some of that for giving um, Mary a basement. I think it's better to give Mary a basement. She was the second player. She deserves to get expanded first. Right, let's go fill our pockets with mushrooms. So we're going to do a few trips here. So hopefully it, you don't mind. But it'll be really interesting to see how much we make. Um, I wonder if we should... I wonder if they're worth different. 
So I wonder if we should do all... These are the mushroom furniture. I wonder if we should just do all these first. Do them type by type. Wow, we're going to be here for a while. Um, okay. <laughs> we'll, f we'll see what these are worth. I imagine the common ones, like the normal white mushrooms, not to be as valuable as the other ones. But maybe they're all... Because sometimes Animal Crossing does this weird thing. But it's kind of cool, actually. Where items are relative to, like, the date or when the event is. So they could be worth, like... Like, for example, it could be worth, like, 1,100 bells each because it's the 11th month or something like that. Or 100... It could be worse. It could be, like, 111 bells or 110 bells. I uh, want to sell, please sell what? Here we go. So this is what we've been building up for during November. Selling all the mushrooms. We've kept some. And um, for some reason, I thought we'd need way more than we did. But when I started realizing how much space they actually take up, we had way too many. For that, I get 3,000 bells. It's more valuable to do fruit. So they're not worth a lot then. But luckily, we've got a bunch of the other mushrooms. Hopefully, they go up in value. But it'll be interesting to see anyway, and we don't need them. It was fun collecting them, uh, mostly to get the furniture. But I do, I do think we're actually missing a couple of mushroom furnitures. I think there probably is a mushroom bed and maybe, I don't know, maybe a mushroom vanity or something. Ooh, Marty, check this out. What do you think about making up a new uber secret greeting only you and I know? It'll be our thing. Okay, let's call, let's do something about, um... The cold weather that's coming. Um, snow or cold, like bitter cold, what could we do? Um, freeze. Freezy, maybe. Freeze? Let's not do it capital. Freeze. Let's just do freeze. Actually, let's do it capital, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do freeze. We've got an uh, exclamation mark. There we go. Freeze! <laughs> ah, so I just have to say freeze! Yeah. <laughs> that will do. Freeze! Uh, that's got some kick to it, huh? Yeah, it certainly has. Sweet! I'm going to start dropping that into our, my vocab right now. Good. There we go. That's the first time we've thought of something semi-clever. I think for a saying or a catchphrase. But, it, I mean, in a couple of weeks, it's going to start snow. We're going to have a snow day soon. And it's going to start snowing instead of raining. And then the snow will settle. So, excited for that, even though our town started in the snow. Right, so it's actually... They could at least have been as valuable as fruit, that's annoying. Right, have we got any more? We'll do this random flat one. And then we'll head back, sell these. We're going to have to do a few trips. Probably like four or... Probably like four or five trips. To sell all the mushrooms. But it will make space in our storage. It'll be worth it. I do think it's a... Oops. Seems a little bit... I hope that the more uncommon mushrooms are worth more. I definitely think the rare mushrooms are worth like 10,000 bells, but we're not going to sell those. Because we want to keep them for display purposes. Alright, see how much this differs by. So what does that make these each then? Like 250 bells each or something? Oh, that was the same. No, it's not worth the same. This is not going to be as lucrative as I thought, but it's still fine because we've got, we need them more for decoration. We just got a little carried away with storing them. <laughs> The good news is when it starts snowing, we can start making snow, uh, snow folk again. And start collecting these snow items. And we got, we got like one or two at the very start of the series. So it's kind of cool to circle back around and start getting those again. Okay, so we're going to get another 3,000 bells, I think, for these. The skinny ones are definitely more common than the flat ones. And the flat one appeared to be the same price as the round one. So I think they're all just like 250 bells or something. 
So it's not overly too much money. I swear they're worth more than that. Maybe it's a, oh, there's the, I've just seen it. There's the last fossil hiding in plain sight. We'll dig that up at the end there. Otherwise it's gonna interrupt our back and forth mushrooms. <laughs> So, how many... Oh, we can probably work out how many trips we've done. This is our third... Ooh! Okay, they're going up in value, finally. So, what was that? Oh, so the flat mushrooms are worth less than the skinny mushrooms. For some reason, I thought these skinny mushrooms were more common. Interesting. So, worth like 1.5 times the amount of bells that the white mushrooms are or round mushrooms are worth. It's so funny when I think about this game, I'm like, I wish there was a way to get access to our storage outside. And then obviously they solved that in New Horizons, but then I never use it in New Horizons. So weird, isn't it? Right, so these are more expensive than the flat mushrooms, unless I totally read it wrong. But I swear with a, all the round mushrooms and then one flat mushroom. I'm sure he still only gave us 3,000 bells. Whoops. Okay, so what's this? The fourth trip. Yep, yeah, it's not going to make us rich by any means, but it definitely will clear the storage, which is the main thing, because that's when we realize we're getting carried away, when we ran out of storage for like duplicate items and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm st we're still taking suggestions for the room downstairs, by the way. We're going to stick with the mushroom furniture for a little while. And I think maybe, I don't know, we could mix and match, do a different series. Or we could stick with, maybe we could use, we could just do just mushrooms and, and use the duplicate furniture, maybe. Or we could introduce the ranch furniture or even another type of furniture. There we go. This, yeah, this is not going to be... A good money maker is if you're gonna think oh November's gonna be good for self um, mushrooms you may as well just harvest fruit unless of course the elegant mushrooms which I don't think we've got any of those to sell actually because I think we only found eight and we've kept oh we might have one to sell because we've kept seven they might be worth a bit more I'm gonna have to look it up Uh, we might be nearly there. Get these in here. Oh, one more round one. These are duplicates. This is the last one, and they're all duplicates. We've got more duplicates than actual uh, unique ones. Okay, this is all DLC stuff and flowers. So we freed up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven drawers. We've got three drawers worth of stuff in our house for mushrooms. But I think it's best to keep those mushrooms because the last thing we need is to decide we want them for either decorating outside or decorating a mushroom room. And then being like, oh, I wish we'd kept some mushrooms because they're not going to be around for another year. So that's why I've kind of kept seven of each. Because we don't want that feeling of like, we spent all that time collecting them, then we sold them all for nothing. And it's even more, even though they're not too expensive, it's worth keeping them now. Knowing that. Because we're not, it's not like they're going to be like millions of bells sat there. So we made 26,000, we'll just say 27,000 bells. That's not too bad. You could do that in an afternoon just with the fruit we've got here. Right, let's check upstairs to see if there's any cool items that we could probably introduce to our room. Oh, we've got a, the bow and arrow item. A pyramid! Doesn't really go though, does it? No, I think we've... Well, I don't think Marty has, but Maury's definitely catalogued all of those items, I think. Check these, no silver slingshot yet. 
Thanks so much for shopping. Come again soon. Okay, so about 30,000 bells. Not too bad. I think the rare mushrooms must be worth more. Right, let's go ahead and... We're just going to move the... Actually, we should probably... Do you know what? We're going to check the Able Sisters. We haven't been in there in ages. And then we're going to go and move all the mushrooms back into storage. So get them off the floor. Until we decide what to do with them. Hi there! Welcome to the Handmade Fashion Palace, the Able Sisters. Oh, got a little moustache there. Nothing really piques my interest. No, I was hoping there was going to be... I suppose it's too early. I was hoping there was going to be like a... Um, like a like a Santa costume or something But maybe that starts appearing in December. I suppose we might start seeing stuff like that tomorrow Or maybe it's after the snow day. I don't know. We should keep checking though But I thought I'd just jump in there. Oh, we forgot the fossil. I'm just gonna jump in there before we forget Here's the fossil. See it's so hard to see um, There we go it's a strange tile for it to randomly spawn in. It's always on, like, the edge of grass deterioration. And that's why I struggle to see it so much. Right, we'll deal with these fossils tomorrow. Or the next day. Let's, uh, let's go and tidy up our house a little bit. So we've got a... Area that we can work on. Need to check our mail as well. I'm so bad at checking our mail. It's usually junk mail, though. <laughs> right, so I think we're going to just put all these back in storage until we decide what to do with them. Wait, so skinny mushrooms... So flat mushrooms are worth less than skinny mushrooms. Might as well put them at the end again. Um... Actually, I'll keep the mushroom furniture in there for now. Um, seven. Seven there, and that'll be the start of that one. And we're just basically creating some space and when we come to use them either for decorating inside or outside because uh, we have to be quite creative outside because we, we're quite limited with what we can display so we will probably make something outside with them but until we come to do that we'll just leave them in the storage i think and we've condensed it down quite a lot it doesn't take up too much room now and there we go get these in there seven of each it is annoying having them on different drawers i would like it would have been cool to have like 10 of each but then that's just too many to keep isn't it and we didn't even have 10 elegant mushrooms so oh we forgot to check yesterday if anyone was visiting we should probably do that as well um there we go perfectly calculated three drawers worth and then we've got all the mushroom furniture in there as well plus uh, we've got a whole drawer of duplicate mushroom furniture as well so i definitely think at some point we're going to be decorating this into a mushroom room but we won't do that now well, what we'll do is we'll just go and check to see if there's anyone in town because we've only ran around kind of once so we might have ran past wendell and uh, we don't want to miss him um, this week but we did we missed Monday because we were behind a day so he may have visited on Monday oh uh, hi so what can I what can I do for you oh I didn't notice anyone go through here sorry I, I'm so sorry oh so no one's visiting then uh, check the lost and found while we're here I think I'm gonna clear out all these pitfalls Oh, Egyptian outfit. Storefront. Cool paper. Oh, silver trophy. I'm going to leave that in there. The storefront might be good for the uh, mushroom 
mushroom house. We can make it like it is a mushroom forest. There's a kind of a weird kind of shop there. That might be kind of cool. Let's sell what we've got here, and then I'm gonna go and drop that back in the shop. Uh, in the in the house, I mean. Always get my words mixed up. So yeah, real shame that there's no more mushrooms to pick, but we are moving into a new season, so we shouldn't be too sad. Right, we're gonna keep the storefront, I think. Yeah, it was never gonna be worth a lot because of the pitfall seeds, but it's just nice to clear out that thing. Even though there's 12 spaces, I think there is, in the Lost and Found, it only ever gets up to 10 for some weird reason. And uh, so that just frees up some space going into a new season. Maybe there'll be some seasonal stuff in there. Right, I'm thinking of making something kind of cool, like a like a mushroom forest now in here. And um, with like a bit of a weird shed or a storefront or something. I don't know if we can put anything on the storefront. Let's move this gigantic TV. Do you know what? I might even turn it around. Um... It's so good. It's so massive. There we go. Um, what does this look like again? Oh, yeah. We can't display anything on it, though, can we? We could get two of these and make, like, a hut or something. I mean... Yeah, we could have some kind of weird hut in a, in a mushroom forest, couldn't we? It's not the worst item to have in here. I think we've got one in the pirate room as well, in Mary's house. But yeah, we could make this maybe like a swamp or like a mushroom forest if we didn't want to go with the ranch furniture. And I think as we go through the winter and start getting like holiday items, we could change it out. But I think it would be kind of cool to do something like that. Um going forward but yeah there we go we'll, we'll have a think about it let me know in the comments your thoughts on that i love hearing your ideas and reading through them so let me know if you have any cool ideas for this room um i'm now thinking kind of swampy mushroom forest but maybe we could see if there's any cool items that would fit in that aesthetic if you know of any let me know um but yeah all for feedback welcome thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope you're still enjoying animal crossing city folk a lot of people have dropped off this series now um, so please let me know if you're still enjoying it. I would love to know. Um, but yeah, and of course, huge shout out to the channel members as well for the, that make this possible. Couldn't do it without you. So I hope you're enjoying this series too. And I'm sure we'll play plenty of new games um, in the coming weeks. We've just finished these Smurfs and we're still playing through Oracle of Seasons. So I hope you're enjoying those. Any other game ideas, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.